Hey, social cam, social media. Listen, this is your boy, Jesse Stevenson, uh, Pastor Jesse, uh, PJ, whatever you call me. Uh, listen, uh, I'm, uh, wanted to just jump in and just share something encouraging, uh, with you. Uh, I always try to learn lessons, uh, from any and everything that I'm dealing with, um, that I have my hands in. And so, uh, for those of you that know me, I know um, that during the summer months, uh, I plant a garden uh, and grow my own vegetables and cucumbers and different things like that. And so uh, I'm at it again. And so I wanted to just share this encouraging thing because it's get, it gets cold here in New York. Um, there are some plants that I have to uh, start in pots until the ground uh, has thawed to, thawed to at least 65 degrees to be able to put them in the soil. And so I started some plants uh, in pots and in cups. Uh, on last week, I was a little frustrated and aggravated uh, because uh, I had just taken the cups and the, the pots and put them outside to get some natural sunlight. And I noticed that the landscapers, when they came to blow the leaves and the grass off the porch, that they had also blown across uh, some of my plants. One in particular was a garden bean. And this particular garden bean, I realized that uh, when I went to go and assess the damage, um, that the garden bean had been blown uh, by the wind of this um, mechanical device and it had snapped in half. It was leaning, it was still connected but broken on the inside. Nevertheless, one of the things that I did realize was that uh, this plant was still growing its initial leaves that would cause it to bring forth flowers, ultimately bringing forth fruit. And so what happened was when I took it and sat it outside to get natural sunlight, I realized on today when I went to go and look at it that it was standing upright. Now I'm clear that it was broken. It was snapped in half. It was hanging. And I knew that I could have plucked it out of the dirt, out of the cup and just let it die. But something in me said, just let it stay. And so I did. Went outside today to look at it only to realize that it was standing back up straight on its own. When I picked a cup up to look at it to see how it had done so, I realized several factors. Number one, I had placed it out in the sun, natural sunlight, in the presence of natural sunlight. Number two, I realized that while in the presence of the sun, the leaves that had grown had, had went down enough to hold on to a popsicle stick that I had labeled for what plant it was, which also allowed it to brace itself, to pull itself back up, to heal, and it is now standing on its own, continuously growing. Hallelujah. I'm sorry I got happy. Uh, so number one, I placed it in the presence of the sun. Number two, it was still growing. Number three, it had something to hold itself up. Number four, it self-healed. Listen, I come to tell somebody who has been blown by a violent wind, wind of circumstances, wind of trouble, wind of finances, wind of pain, bad relationships, divorce, sexual molestation, uh, uh, you lost your job, whatever the circumstance of wind is in your life that blew you and caused you to break, there are certain several things that you should consider because I'm broken does not mean I'm dead, number one. Number two, when you are placed in the presence of the sun, sometimes it's not that the sun needs to lay his hands on you or heal you, but rather being in the presence of the sun allows you to realize your own ability to heal yourself. There are some things that you don't need, hallelujah, you don't need to hold on to except for the things that will hold you up long enough for you to heal. Get in the presence of God and let him show you that you have the ability to let some things go. Heal your heart. Forgive others that have hurt you. Let go of the past. Listen, Get in the presence of the sun and let him show you what's your ability to heal. What's there for you to prop yourself up on has already been placed there by the master planter. All you have to do is let the light of the sun show you how to hold yourself up. Be encouraged. You can be healed and you can be free.